go. Okay, it's running. All right, cool. All right. So for those of you at home, we are at Applebee's in Visalia. Me and Don Goosh. We're very excited. We just had our, our first practice session with myself, Raw Lara on drums, and uh, Erica Rivera on violin, Steve Zimmer on uh, piano, and we had our first practice for the song Beth. We're going to be playing at the Barrel House eventually, so we're here having dinner. Dude, these look awesome. This, at least, all of these, yeah, all of these pasta dishes look pretty amazing, man. I think I'm going to probably do one of these. Creamy penny pasta with sliced prime rib. Look at the picture. It's very delicious. It's got mushrooms in it, too. I like that. This one's got <laughs> well, what's your pleasure, Don Gish? Oh, no, I think I'm going to do the one with the shrimp. Cajun pasta with black and shrimp. And then every time you bring it out, it looks like yes. And then the drink. It comes with the red potatoes. I know you're going to have a service. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's all right. You can always add one if you want. It's probably going to be too cold. How about exotic drop? Is that anything good yet? Because I haven't gotten it before. I haven't even started my game yet. I have, but I haven't played it yet. What? I know. I haven't even been able to get back to someone in my room. I know the expansions, you need those to be like a higher level beverage. Or you can skip. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Yeah. This new forsaken one is like, it's crazy. It takes a lot of time. Yeah, so just whenever you have time to do it. Good evening. How are we doing today? I think we're ready, buddy. Excellent. Something to drink for you? I know you're going to have a beer, which I think I'm going to try the uh, tropical iced tea. Uh, cherry, coconut, uh, and any appetizers? Uh, I don't think so. No? Oh, were we all set for the entrees? Yeah, I'm going to have your uh, shrimp. Cajun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, how about we do this? Stuff for Stuff for Tony. No, it's a sour sweet sauce. Excellent. Anything else right now? I think that's it. Perfect. I'll be right back with those drinks. Appreciate it. Okay, so let's um, rehash just a minute while it's still fresh in our mind because we talked about some of the stuff on the, in the truck based on what we talked about um, now that we had this first practice. So I guess the significant, significant things are two things, and I'm sure you'll probably remember others. Number one, that idea that you had and Raul had about doubling the time on the instrumental. Give Erica her moment in the sun with Z just kind of putting a little sprinkles on it. And then all of a sudden, Z has his moment in the sun and Erica has a little bit of sprinkles. Because the song we said was so short. Long and that gave both of them their little, their little limelight. And as long as, as long as they provide for me what I need to know when to jump back in, it doesn't matter to me either way. And then the second one, the second issue that we thought of was at the end, when I hit that high note, that I don't have to worry about the musicians. They've already confirmed for me that I can, I can elongate, elongate that sucker as long as I want. And so I'm gonna lay that sucker out there for a long period of time. Maybe it will be long enough that it'll get the crowd to actually start clapping. And then uh, once I run out of air or think that it's an appropriate time, then I'll taper it off and then they'll taper off with me. So those are the, probably the two big things, right? Yeah. And then uh, it was cool to see Erica and Z talking that music speak language, you know, A's, notes, and sharps, and all those Italian words that we had no idea what they were talking about. That was really cool kind of listening to them. And they seem to connect musically really well, so I think they're going to be able to work together in kind of a really kind of cool way. 
and uh, I think by the time we got to that last take, the beginning was a lot smoother when her violin came in and when his piano came in. I think that that was a lot better on that uh, on that last take. Uh, and then you had mentioned that you thought by the last the last take that Raul was doing a better job, just keeping it kind of mellow. He kind of hit, kind of held back a little bit more towards the end, uh, and because there's 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 opportunity for him to do his little dun dun dun, his little little flourishes, but most of the time it's just kind of. He said he was doing. What did you say on the rim? What did you say? Instead of the actual meat of the drum. Uh, yeah. Because you were, like I said, when we were driving, you're the only one with the objective ear because everybody else is busy kind of doing their thing. Was there anything else that we'd mentioned just in terms of how things kind of went there at the end? Erica was excited to find out that we had music for it, the music, sheet music. So she said she'll take it home and practice. Yeah, as we're leaving the house, I mentioned that, uh, you know, I, I think that musically, the violin needs to be the primary voice. More so than the piano. Right, yeah. And I think, you know, Erica's getting comfortable with it, and she might have been pulled back just a little bit. Because, Black Black Ninja, 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 Ninja Z. Yeah. yeah. And I think you're right. I think if, if once she starts coming into her own on the song, uh, Z will do whatever he needs to for the sake of the song. Absolutely. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. yeah that's, that's not even going to be a problem or an issue. So I think you're right. I think her confidence level is going to go up as she gets more comfortable with it. And uh, by the time oh, we no, do our deal, it'll be very, very good. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Oh, so again, the music. So she's going to take the sheet music home. So she, she she was pretty confident. She said, I'll have this down by the next time I see you guys. So, yeah. I, I just didn't know she read music. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So real good that you, that you had an extra copy. Too. Yeah, I made like six copies just in case. I didn't know who was going to need it. And then it, yeah. If somebody was marking them up. Well, yeah, right. like yeah, exactly. Copy. Yeah. And it's kind of a bummer that... Uh, Andrew wasn't there for the percussion, but maybe that's okay on the first one. Maybe that allows everybody else to kind of get a feel for it and get in the groove because, you know, when we were talking about the percussion, it's just going to be little flourishes of something anyway. Yeah, the, the percussion doesn't drive the song. He just has to find his little moments to add in. I don't know when he's going to put in there a tambourine or maracas or, those, or what are those little things that kind of hang that you... Yeah. I don't know what you call those, or the kazoo, or who knows. <laughs> you know, but every, he's going to do whatever he's going to do. So I don't think it's a big deal that he wasn't here. He, he'll be here probably for the next one. Yeah. I thought it was kind of interesting just the way it happened tonight. You know, so he was there first, kind of started a little bit. Again, yeah, you know. yeah, just the two of us. Right, and, and then Raul came in, and so he was kind of starting to get, yes. get the, the rhythm with the drum going on. And then Erica slid in. It was kind of cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. I bet it on the video it's going to look pretty cool, too. Yeah. 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 We didn't plan it. It was. We're just amazing. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't thought of that. That was kind of cool. Because I remember when the, the door opened and I was right in the middle of it, you know, and I, I kind of waved at her, you know, and she smiled and she sat down and stuff. And she had never been in the studio, I forgot that too, so she was kind of like, oh shoot, yeah, this is cool, bro. I was like, oh yeah, that's right, she hadn't been here yet. Uh, let's see, anything else in far, far as a practice? What I can think of, I like the way that they kind of, after we listen to the, the recording, the recording. I, I think that ending on the recording is better than what was on the sheet music. And he kind of picked that up and oh, it kind of goes down there. Yeah, he heard, he heard it. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Thank you. Yeah. Sir? Has, it's sweetened already. That is, yeah, I think you're right. It, it, the ending, it got better. It was a little, it was a little chunky there at the beginning, but I was expecting that. I wasn't uh, thinking it was going to be amazing just yet. But, yeah, it needed to kind of fade out. Fade yeah. out. Well, the fact that it, it drops, uh, it drops the notes, notes. Instead of, instead of, you know, stays no. even. Or uh, something else. Was so you, you heard him say that it was different than what was on the sheet. Yeah. He, oh. he, he read, he noted his to himself. music for the final ending, and uh -huh. it does trail off there because it's real tough to, you know, when, when you're in the, the, the studio, you can just you know you just draw everything down and fade everything out really easy. Well, it's tough to do that in real life, absolutely. You know, especially on a piano, absolutely. You know, easier on the violin because you can just really lighten up and draw it out. And that works. 
Yeah, but yeah, it's tougher with you know, like a car or you know, unless you're turning your amps down or your, your pickup or whatever. Yeah, even when I send the stuff in for mastering, they ask the question, they say, are all the fade outs in place or do we need to do any for you? You know, and because of what I do, it's always already there, you know. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, live performance is what's up to do. You got a yeah. really good sound system, good sound man, you can, you can drag it down and fade it out. But most of the time in live performance, you don't because it sounds great on recording and when you listen to recorded music, you kind of come to expect it. But with live music, it doesn't, yeah. you know, when you stop playing. You know. but, and I kind of like that because when it's live, it gives you an opportunity to do something cool in the end. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of like, okay, what are we going to do here? Yeah. How are we going to end this? Yeah. yeah. That's like when I used to work with Lee and he'd write songs because, you know, he, he wouldn't record, but obviously he was playing live, right? And so he would always talk about working on the outro. You know, it's like the intro, you can some, for whatever reason, seems easier. The intro to your song, whatever it is, you're going to play before you start singing. And then at the end, it's like, okay, how do I end this? You can't just stop playing. You know, it's got to do something. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sometimes you struggle and struggle with the outro. <laughs> so, see, anything else? Um, I think that's it. I just think it went really, really well. And if it if it went that well for the first practice, you know, holy smokes, you know. And everybody's still getting used to everybody, you know. Once everybody, I mean, the any nerves that maybe Erica had, they're gonna dissipate really quick. You know, she realizes how cool these guys are. And she already knows you and I, so yeah. that's not a big deal. Well, that's why I wanted to go ahead and mic her up. Uh, you know, I figured the first one, the first tape that she played on, okay, well, you know, let her go without it, so she kind of. Play work out the cobwebs, work, work out know. the kinks a little bit. Right, you know, but then I wondered, I felt like, you know how, uh, you know, it's tough sometimes, like vocally, to, to sing softly, right? But when you get into it and go stuff out, it's like it gives you energy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really get into it, and I, I don't know, you probably feel like you're singing better, and you yeah, probably yeah, are. You probably are. Like, really yeah. into it, right? And but when you're like all quiet, like she was, it's like, she can't really hear herself. I was sitting right next to her, and I was having trouble. Yeah, you even told her that. It's yeah. like, uh, Erica, we need to mic you up, girl. Yeah, we, so she if I can't hear you, nobody yeah. can. Right. You know, and you probably could because you were right in front of her. Uh, but, you know, nobody else could. It's like, now you, you need to be mic. You've got to be. Yeah. But then again, remember I was telling you, I'm listening to him, but I'm not listening to him. Right. It's a weird deal. Right. There's like It's kind of like one ear's on and one ear's off. <laughs> Yeah. And I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of it's a weird thing, kind of subconsciously, where yeah. I have to listen just enough to know where I'm at. But if I listen too much, it'll mess me up because then I'll I'll start wanting to follow them, and I don't want to follow them. Right? right? Or, yeah, you'll be concentrating so much on what you're listening to. That yes. Be doing what you're I won't doing. be doing what I'm doing. So. You're probably listening to it the way we were talking just a little bit ago, where it's just you know when, when you're at the restaurant, you just yeah. do it so well, yes. you hear all the conversations, you yes. Can, you know, and so it's like you're listening to it just kind of intuitively or subconsciously. Subconsciously. And, and you know it's happening right. In fact, some of the times as I was going, I was in my mind, I was thinking, okay, I hope they realize it right here. This is because this is supposed to happen right here. And then I would hear it. Like, okay, good. Because <laughs> I'm waiting for it. You know, it's like I need that little, I need that little thing right there so that I know what I need to do. And, Tells me when to come in. It's like okay, there it is, good. You know, because <laughs> if that doesn't happen, I'm gonna be like, oh shoot. Uh, uh, and I think in a large part, you know, Raul's your best friend on that. Yes. Keeping that beat. Yeah, when he does this dum 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 da dum da dum, you know all that, and he's got right. that little beat. Yeah, it's yeah. like it gives that little slides. signature cue. <laughs> I slide right in. Yeah, yeah. Right. you're right. He is kind of like a little, little best friend. <laughs> um, I think that's it. So, do we need another mic stand? I think we do, huh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, if it's well, I don't if know. I'm gonna buy another mic stand, I'm gonna buy another mic too. Another one of those Sure 58s. Because those other two, those are cheap little karaoke mics. Yeah. And I mean, we're, you know, we're pros. So, yeah, so if I'm gonna buy a mic stand, I'll buy a mic too. That way I can, have, I, we can mic her. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't think I need another one for the other guys yet down the road. That way I can drag out the purchases a little bit. But I'll get Erica a mic and a mic stand. I'm guessing in the other band she plays in, it's all completely acoustic, except for maybe a vocal. It's probably not mic at all. Probably not. Because I know they make 
microphone specifically for um, violins. Violins that are it's kind of like a lapel mic. It's a little tiny guy. Like right we should have asked her. So, I wonder if she would prefer that. Email her. You got to email her. Yeah, the, I got to email her. Song, anyway. Girl song. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna buy you a mic. I have no idea how expensive they are. So. Yeah. So do you have a? You have a preference because the, the mic stand she can only get so close to it because she's got to do they clip the mic onto the actual it mounts to the, the violin or the actual violin body near the sound hole. Or, well, I guess there's not a sound hole in the violin, but our sound hole would be a pretty good spot. And the cool thing is, we got that great PA, so we just plug it in, uh, yeah. and we're done. What's gonna happen at the barrel house? If they've got a, so I think they've got two mics, maybe three. All you have to do is plug it in. Yeah, plug in. We just have to bring it with us. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind she wants. That's the kind I'll get. See what happens. Can't be that much more. Those uh, sure uh, SM 58s like the one I have. Yeah. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Yeah. I can't imagine. What you want that? I have no idea. I don't like the price. I don't either. But that would even be better because then you know that mic's right there where it needs to be. I'll, I'll look into it. You know, I, maybe I don't sometimes even... you move, you know, when you're doing stuff, it's kind of natural. You know, like, it's like you move when you sing, right? That's right. And so, like that. Look up here she she moves away from go with her. It'll go yeah. with her. Yeah, she moves away from Michael. Maybe I'll just do it and not have to consult with her necessarily. Yeah. Just get her a nice microphone for a violin. And yeah. Next time she comes, I go, look what we got you, Erica. Like, oh, crap. Right. Yeah, I just pay attention to how it now. How it connects. Yeah, you know. And if there's Turn different kinds, strips, you know, yeah, and if there's there. different kinds and they mount in different ways, then I might have to ask her, do you have a preference? I said, hey, go on. I didn't even tell her. I said, uh, I already looked on Sweetwater, that's who I like to use, and I noticed they've got three different violin mics. All of them are affordable for me. Why don't you go in there and look at them and tell me which one you like? Yeah, and then I'll buy them. Yeah, and then I'll buy that one for you. And then I'll get it. I want the same mic stand as mine. I like everything to match. Yeah. I like those ones with the handle anyways. Those are convenient. Well, she won't need a mic stand. She won't stand. need it if you get that. Yeah. yeah, if I get her the right kind of mic, she won't even need a mic stand. So I can hold off on that. Yeah. Until I actually... I don't want to buy things until we actually need them. Yeah. Okay, so that's on my list. I need to send Andrew the girl song too because he didn't play with us either. So that he can add lip a little bit as well. I think he's going to become more, more and more essential as we go. Like on the Magic song, the Olivia Newton. Know, there's, there's a lot of songs in there that have weird sounds that I don't know what they are, but he's probably going to know what they are. You know? I'm starting with these ones because they're simple, and both of these have not, we, we haven't had to meet guitars. You know? But when we start doing some of these other ones, we're going to have to have a guitar. Yeah, pretty special and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, in my head, I'm kind of like, oh, i got to pick all the ones with no guitar. It was I'm funny, it was going through my head when I saw her, uh, Erica. You know, she, she was kind of finger picking to get the notes, you know, yeah, yeah, she yeah. was reading the music. I was like, why don't you come pick a guitar, too? Because oh, yeah. it's, it's Freddie. But I bet she knows people from her band that can play guitar. Yeah. I hinted to her on the way out. I said, that's kind of nice that you're in a, you're still playing with your, you know, your, I called it her mariachi band. I said, I mean, yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, because I, because, uh, uh, Raul says he's playing Mexican music, but it's not mariachi. It's a different kind. But, but Erica, she's doing mariachi. Yeah. And those I've guys are got they got to be accomplished with her outfit and everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I've seen it. There's I don't know, six or seven people in it. I've seen yeah. a, seen a picture. When she uh, she's got to know some the, guitarists. Yeah. When she started with the firm, um, they they put that picture. We do this this thing where you know, kind of introduce new people. So it's a little email and. And, and this, like and this, all the little documentaries you always watch, this is how they get together anyway. It's, you know, you have one guy, and hey, I got this guy, and then, oh yeah, he's pretty good, and you know, next thing you know, you, you pick up other people. Yeah. What a coincidence that we knew Erica, and she was this former student, and she's a, you know, and she's being modest, you know, she's a, she's a, a good violinist too, you know. She's just, it's just a new song. Yeah. When, I, I, I'm confident that once she starts practicing that sucker, she's going to be yeah, you're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to be able to like, be more, oh, and that was the other thing he said that I thought was a cool idea where when that instrumental comes, how it'll kind of like fade off. And then, you know, there's like the lights on her and she's, you know, going like that and Z's doing his thing, you know, that would be so cool. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. And then they switch like we were talking about it, you know, and then all of a sudden it's the other one, you know. Yeah, and I have no idea how that'll work, but I know that the two of them they'll figure it out. They'll, oh, they'll figure it out. I'll, they'll just have their they'll have their little nerdy music conversation. <laughs> Here's what we want you to do, Erica. You're gonna start first. You're gonna have your moment in the spotlight. And Z's gonna do the sprinkles just like we did before. But then. Z, you're going to do it, and then Erica, you're going to do a little bit of sprinkle. We're going to double the length of that, in, that uh, instrument. Be cool. And Z will love it, I do. He played the boogie woogie version of Beth. How do you do that? How do you do that without even thinking? Z is insane. The boogie woogie version of Beth by Kiss. That's a black film. Yeah, that was cool. Okay, so uh, send Andrew and send Erica the girl song. Shop for Erica for some violin mic. Send her a link. Let her pick. Get that ordered so that it's here by next Tuesday. She's got her sheet music. She's going to be practicing. Yeah, we're good to go. Uh oh, low battery. Oh, we didn't bring anything. Okay, I'll go to low. If I go to low power mode, will it still work? I can just turn it off. Okay, sure. Thank you. I'm going to shut you off because we're eating.